What's up guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. guys, how are you doing today? My name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. I'm sure I've already covered your favourite song, so go check out the playlist in the description down below. If not, just let me know which song you'd like to see here in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I can. And now time for one of the most requested artists on this format, and that is Slash with Paradise City and Guns N' Roses. <laughs> It is well, well long overdue that uh, we tackle Slash on that format. I was, I was just chickening out, to be honest. <laughs> it's such an iconic tone. Uh, it is such a legendary player, sound, gear, riff machine, everything you want. Just slap legend in front of it. So as far as guitars, obviously, I couldn't escape the Gibson Les Paul. Obviously, it's not the right one. It's not a burst. It's not a slash signature, but that would be too easy. If you have one of these guitars, go for it because they're tailored for his sound. But if you have a single cut guitar with two humbuckers, I think you're already in quite the right place to begin with. That will be my guitar for the day. I will be staying in the bridge position and we're now going to have a look at our amp and pedal situation. Slash has gone through many models of Marshall, had several signatures with the uh, AFD uh, models and has been using a few different things. But there's a lot of confusions regarding that particular album because he's used tons of Silver Jubilee Marshalls. And for those who are not aware, Silver Jubilee is a basically two-channel modded JCM 800. But Although he's been playing these amps pretty much constantly on tour, the recording of Appetite for Destruction was made with a Marshall Super Lead. Again, it wasn't stock, it was probably modded somehow because there's a fair amount of gain on that sound, maybe a little bit too much for a classic Plexi on 10 sort of scenario, but that was the sound. So, kind of middle ground here. I could have gone for the Silver Jubilee, but I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I just, I'm not a big fan of the combo version of that amp. So I went with my trusty JCM800 lead series. As usual, the controls will be on your screen. And I think that with a little bit of help, since it's not a stock JCM800 sound, will get me there. To do that, I'm gonna be using the JHS Bonsai, which is the almighty all tube screamer pedal. I'll be in the 808 mode, no gain. I'm just adding a little bit of boost to the front end and a little bit of EQ because the Marshall gets a little bit muddy when pushed all the way up with the preamp. So that cleans things up, that adds that mid hump uh, that you find in Slash Sound and I think gets me pretty close. That's for the main rhythm. And obviously for such an iconic intro, I'll be using a chorus pedal in the shape and form and sound of the MXR Analog Chorus. That one's not a wild guess. It's been on his board forever. I think that's the chorus, if not on the recording, because usually these effects were added in post. So here is the clean tone for the intro. The amp stays with the preamp maxed out, but I'm only going to be using the guitar at volume one or two. So cleaning up as much as I can from it. Bonsai is off and the analog chorus is on. <laughs> That's the sound I'm going for for the intro. To my ears, it does sound pretty close. It's not exactly a clean sound because I, I genuinely don't think that he uses several channels on his amp, but really just plays with the guitar volume just like I did now. So it's breaking up, it's almost gainy, but not really. 
And I think that's kind of the vibe I want to go for for that intro. And then going on to either the lead part or the main riff, I'm going to be turning the chorus off, kicking in the JHS Bonsai and put the guitar volume to 10. And that is the sound. <laughs> Again, and as usual, this is an approximation. I'm doing that with very little gear because I want most of you guys to be able to replicate it with these or other similar sort of effects. If you're wondering, by the way, I'll put a link in the description box down below to everything I'm using and more recommendations at different price points. Finally, and as we all know, 50% of Slash sound resides in the hat. So I can only get so close, probably in the hair as well. Just the attitude, really. So let's jump straight onto the final part of that video, which, as usual, is the most important and is how to play the riff. First off, keep in mind that I'll be putting the tabs in the description box down below for anyone here who might need to spend some more time learning the song. Second, you want to make sure that your guitar is tuned in E flat. And that's going to be valid for most Guns N' Roses songs, so you're not lost in there. If you detune your guitar, you can learn their entire discography and then tune it back up to learn other stuff. But you've got enough work to do with that one. So half a step down on all the strings. It's not a drop tuning, it's standard, same chord positions. And we're going to start by having a look at a fretting hand. <laughs> That's quite a bit to cover here. We've got some clean, we've got some dirt, we've got some rhythm, we've got some leads. I think that's why this song, on top of being like so upbeat and so uplifting for a Guns N' Roses song, I think it's a really good exercise because there's a little bit of everything in just that introduction. It's not easy by any means. So if you're starting with guitar, don't be afraid. Take it very slow. Start just with the chords in the introduction, for example. Slow it a bit down on the lead part. But I think you can get there in no time. With that said, let's have a quick look at the picking side of it. I think the picking is most complicated on the final, like the, the verse riff, that final part. And that because it's a really, really complicated mix of muting, of not muting, of just legato, like standard uh, back and forth uh, picking. And also there's that second guitar, obviously, that's playing uh, an octave up. Same advice as usual. Start slow and build up the tempo as you go. But with that said, 
I think that's it, and you have all the tools you need to hit the different tones on Paradise City by Guns N' Roses. Again, I can't stress enough how scared I was of tackling Slash in this format. I hope I did it some sort of justice that you enjoyed that video, and if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on the next ones. If I haven't covered your favorite song yet, let me know which one it is in the comments down below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.